SCP-023, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-023 is to be contained in a standard 5 by 5 meter containment unit. SCP-023 is to be contained in a walled-off intersection of two corridors at site redacted, with at least three meters of space in each direction, and false doors at three of the four ends, in addition to the real door. Security cameras will be placed and maintained above all four doors. <coughs> at all times, SCP-024's eye sockets are to be filled with spherical inserts made of hard rubber. Eye inserts must be replaced as they degrade. Degradation can be monitored by measuring the brightness of the burning effect as observed from by the security footage. Brightness gator, greater than 12 candela. candela requires that the inserts be replaced within 12 hours. Eye inserts are only to be replaced individually and only after the sun is completely set. Personnel are not to look directly into the eye sockets of SCP-023 at any time. Following incident 023-27, all reflective surfaces, including displays, monitors, and eyewear of any sort are not permitted within 30 meters of SCP-023 cell. This includes monitors linked to security cameras within its enclosure. Security personnel posted at checkpoints outside both corridors will enforce and adhere to this measure. Experimentation involving SCP-023 has been suspended indefinitely. Description SCP-023 is a large, sexless, shaggy canine, 1.5 meters at the shoulders with black fur. It has bright, orange, red eyes, and prominent teeth scratched out. See Incident Report 023-26. In any time an individual makes eye contact with SCP-023, either that person or a member of their immediate family will die exactly one year after eye contact is broken. Research into the method of selection is incomplete due to a moratorium on experimentation, but the available data suggests that having a larger immediate family lessens the chance of the individual making eye contact themselves dying, and neither a pattern nor a preference in victim types have been found. This may indicate that SCP-023's victim is designed, designated to re entirely at random, but it is unknown whether the selection occurs at the beginning or at the end of the one-year time period. Attempts to terminate an individual who has made eye contact with SCP-023 and their entire immediate family before the one-year period has ended. Data expunged. Autopsies of individuals killed by SCP-023's effects show that, while outwardly appearing unharmed, their remains have been filled with highly compound, compacted ash, including but not limited to all organ systems and the circulatory system. Muscle tissue, bones, and brain tissue universally show signs of exposure to temperatures above redacted Celsius. If not contained in settings that at least superficially resembles a crossroads, SCP-023 will phase through all walls to get to the nearest suitable location, incinerating all materials it passes through. SCP-023 was brought to the foundation of detention when it attacked a church and redacted while it was in session, killing redacted civilians directly and redacted as a result of eye contact. Following the retrieval of SCP-023, Class B amnestics were administered to all witnessed and surviving victims. The incident was covered up as a case of arson. Addendum 023-001 SCP-023 broke containment on redacted date by passing through its cell wall, Incident 023-01. SCP-023 was later discovered at the intersection of two corridors somewhere on site redacted. Agent Redacted noted that SCP-023's similarity to a redacted. Special containment procedures for SCP-023 updated. Assistant Researcher Redacted issued a reprimand for negligence. Reprimanded from, from negligence. Addendum 023-002. SCP-023 has been responsible for the deaths of blank personnel and redacted civilians. Since it was first brought into the containment on 10-12, redacted 94. Addendum 023-003. Request for reclassification to Keter pending. Addendum 023-004. Due to both anomalies focusing on specific geological spaces, their destruction capabilities, and canine appearance, it is possible that SCP-1111-1 may be a variant of the same phenomenon 
observed in SCP-023 or vice versa. Investigation into the origin of both anomalies is ongoing. Due to the inability to capture SCP-1111-1 for study, investigations are currently focused on SCP-023.